What's up, divas and divas? So your girl is back. Anyway, you guys, today's video is going to be with a company. I think I worked with them twice prior to this. I think it's pronounced Ryu, Ruyu. I'm not really sure, you know. They have these weird names and you, they want you to figure it out. But either way, the hair is really affordable. They did send me a 13 by 6 virgin. Either it's Brazilian or Malaysian. You can choose the hair origin. But it's a 13 by 6 transparent lace wig and it's 22 inches. It's water wave texture and it is cheap, girl, okay? Like when I say cheap, this wig is only $159 on the website for 22 inches, 150% density, lace front 13 by 6 transparent okay for one there is some pros and cons i mean like if you don't know how to bleach no knots then this might not be for you but if you do then you definitely want to check it out i'm going to stop chitter chatting because you know i could talk your ears off but i'm going to get right into this and i'm going to show you guys how your wig will come when you receive your unit from Roy U hair you will receive their standard packaging which will state 100 percent virgin human hair You'll also receive a wig cap. The one that I've received is one that you can use to make wigs with. Royal Hair will also send an elastic band, which you can sew on the inside of your lace wig for a tighter, more snug fit if you prefer. You'll also receive a pair of their strip lashes, which come in many different styles. The unit that I received is a 22 inch Virgin Brazilian 13 by 6 water wave. This lace states on the website that it is transparent. The price of this unit for 22 inches, 150% density, a 13 by 6 lace front is $159.49. As you guys can see, the ends of the unit look really healthy. Royal Hair also has coupons on their website, so you'll even be able to save more money. The unit also does come with baby hairs in the front perimeter along with the nape. As you guys can tell from the lace, it is light in color. You will need to bleach your knots if you prefer a more natural appearance. I went ahead and bleached my knots twice on this unit with 30 developer and bleach. I also went ahead and pre-plucked this hairline. You can visit Ruyu Hair as they have many units available from glueless full lace wigs 360s to lace frontals. I'll leave all of their information down below. I did go ahead and sew an elastic band into the unit because I want to make sure that it's tight or not too tight, but I just want to make sure that it fits properly. And the lace is supposed to be transparent. Let me just tell y'all one thing, okay? I had to bleach this wig twice, okay? The first time that I bleached it, the knots lifted, but they didn't really lift enough. So when I went to pre-pluck the unit, you can see still knots. And even though I was pre-plucking it, it still didn't look that great because the knots was not bleached all the way. So I had to bleach this wig twice. And I do believe like each time it was about an hour's time span. The front part, like right about here, is still a little speckled. And that's because I don't put a lot of bleach right at the very beginning of the hairline because it's so thin the wig is cheap you know what i mean so it's not like i mean yeah you get what you pay for so if it is cheaper i definitely gonna have to do a little bit more work now i don't really know what they mean by transparent because if you guys can tell i can see it we're gonna see how it looks on and because it was water wave the waves was a little bit loose to me like it was like um it was like a lazy wave. I'm, I don't even know if that's a, that's not even a hair texture, but today it is. It was a lazy wave. I just took my barrel curler and just kind of like did my own thing with it. You know, you could either straighten it, put some curl style to it, whatever, or you could just wear it in the lazy wave that it's in. I'm hoping that it come out cute because listen, first of all, I don't have time for this. I had to do work on this one, so I'm really hoping that it comes out nice. We're just going to get into this real quick and we're going to see what it Okay guys, so we're gonna get right into this. You know, I already curled this unit, of course, off camera. The waves were not as wavy as I would like them to be. 
And plus, I also wanted to see how it would look if I just curled the hair because, you know, you don't always want to wear it in its natural state. So as the norm, I'm going to head and cutting the lace off of this unit. I did choose to use a small pair of scissors to start with. But then I decided to get a little bit fancier and technical and use my brow trimmers. I didn't really prefer the brow, brow trimmers for this particular lace. It was a little bit thicker. And I will be cutting with the scissors all the little pieces of leftover lace. If you are not skilled with an eyebrow trimmer, I would highly suggest a pair of scissors. Because girl, listen, I like the scissors anyway, okay? And I am, I am definitely not skilled at brow trimmers. So the wig was a little bit too big. Of course, you guys see it was flapping over my ears. So I just went ahead and parted it over my ears and cut away the excess lace. If you ever have a wig that's too big and the lace is over flapping your ear, just cut directly above your ear and then you can cut directly onto that part line and your wig will lay a lot more flatter. It's really important to have your wig lay as flat as possible because we really don't want nobody knowing that you got on a wig, girl. Now, this is a very important step because if you want your wig to adhere, make sure you clean off any type of makeup, dirt, oils, whatever you got on your forehead, girl, clean it off. Some people use alcohol. I just use baby wipes because it, it works. And this is the part where, you know, I make me some sideburns and some baby hairs, but this is also a step that I use to spray my hairspray in between the part. So even though I'm parting all of this hair in the front, I'm not necessarily going to use it all for baby hairs. Sometimes you don't even have to, but I find this step is a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna take my bed head hairspray and I'm gonna spray some of it onto the lace. And I'm gonna put some of it onto my hairline too, since it's sprayed there. And you can do that as well. It'll adhere the wig a lot better. And damn, that shit burns, okay? I'm gonna sp spray a little bit onto the lace and into the part. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer on cool and I'm gonna press it up against the nozzle. Or I'm gonna take the nozzle and press it up against the lace. Either way, you don't have to do this, but this is just me. You can use a comb, which I will be using in a second. I really think the comb is a lot better. I'll just take the rat tail comb. I would highly suggest getting a metal, metal tail one because the plastic ones will have all type of sticky residue onto them. It seems like anything sticky adheres a lot faster to the plastic. So I would prefer a metal one. And you just wanna repeat that same step on the opposite side, girl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut these baby hairs. Like I said, you don't have to use them all, but you know, they're not gonna come out the same each time you style the wig. So that's the reason why I cut them all in the front. And then I just brush them into the hair for the ones that I'm not gonna use. And you just wanna cut them the length that you like. Now, let me tell y'all, it's really easy to cut the baby hairs and the sideburn hairs with a brow trimmer. But girl, let me tell you, it all depends on the lace that you're cutting too with it. Now to sculpt my baby hairs, I'm going to be using that Dollar Tree Styling Mousse. And yes, my green toothbrush is back in full effect. I was so happy I found her. I found her when I was moving all of my camera equipment and my desk around. I love this toothbrush. She has been with me for over six years. Such a good cheap toothbrush too. But anyway, on to the next. Just take your baby hairs and your styling mousse and just sculpt it into your hairline or however you want to do it. I like to use the salon selectors from the Dollar Tree because this stuff is good. It's definitely not a Dollar Tree product. This stuff has been around for some years and it works really good. So why spend too much money when you can just spend a dollar and have the same effect on something that costs way more? I'm just saying girl, I'm trying to save you a little bit of money. The way I brush my hairs in the front is kind of like in a curved position because I don't really like baby hairs too much in the front. I'm not like the hugest fan of them anyway, but you know. Now it's time to style and profile. And I guess I really don't have to say much from here because you guys all know the rest.
Now, let me just tell y'all something. This this lace is definitely not transparent. Like, I'm seeing it. I had to camouflage it with my foundation or my pressed powder. It isn't that bad, but honestly, it should not be advertised as transparent. It doesn't allow you to choose the lace color from what I'm looking at, but it does go to 26 inches. And you can get it in the hair types of Brazilian, Peruvian, Malaysian, or Indian. And it does come with 150% density. The wig is $159.49. It's a water wave and it's a transparent. It does say it's transparent. And what I'm looking at, it doesn't really look transparent to me, but it doesn't look as bad as what I could have, you know, what I have seen in the past. So a little bit of it did shed, but nothing major. The one thing that I'm just like not really too happy about is the fact that it's not really transparent. No, it's workable. Okay. So it's definitely workable. It's 13 by six inches. You do get a nice amount of parting and you get a whole bunch of hair for super cheap. So listen, let me tell y'all this. You could definitely go ahead and get you some tinting spray, you know, the liquid kind or the actual one in the aerosol can. You could definitely do that. Like the Even New York tinting spray, I do. But I will be honest and say there is a difference. You can definitely see a difference in the Even New York tinting spray which is an aerosol can versus the one like taylor crowns which is in a pump bottle which is you know wet liquid i really honestly feel like the wet liquid one is a lot better than the aerosol can only because the aerosol can kind of gives you like this chalky dusty masking versus and it kind of like lays on top of the lace versus like the taylor crown ones soak into the lace so it's less visible than the actual aerosol can tinting spray it there's pros and cons to each one of them but you know i i still like the both of them you just got to work around the hair it. quality is nice it's like a medium luster 22 inches you know like i said it's like a lazy wave because i didn't really find it like the waves was not sure popping like how i be telling you guys i like the curls that i gave it this just gave it way more volume it was waved but it wasn't like wavy wavy so i really prefer to do it like this i will leave all the information down below for you guys yeah make sure you rate comment subscribe share the video you know post it up on your page and stuff like that you know hook a girl up and i love you guys and i'll see you in a soon to come video I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a,